What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we're coming to you from San Diego, California. Yes, you do wear, need to wear a mask as often as possible, but when I'm talking here, I'm not going to be wearing it as often. But here we are at the historic part of San Diego. We'll go down here tonight. Also, if you look right over here, you'll see we have the convention center. And just behind you, you will see the Petco Park. So here's a couple facts or things to know about San Diego. Right over here is the Naval Shipyard where they have the amphibious assault ships. And over here on Coronado Island, you'll see the aircraft carriers. So this here is San Diego Harbor, okay? This whole area is very naval. Lots of Navy activity out here, submarines and whatnot. Uh, San Diego is one of the top cities in America. So when you come here, just know you're in one of the best places in America to visit. Let's keep going. In case you're wondering, San Diego actually has a population of 1.4 million in the actual city. But if you go outside into the metro areas, which include uh, Ocean Beach and all those other suburbs, La Jolla and whatnot, you're actually looking at about 3.5 million people in the San Diego metro area. So it is a pretty big city, but San Diego alone is the eighth largest city in America. All right, so here we are in downtown at Seaport Village. We're gonna walk around, show you guys what Seaport Village has going on. So out here in San Diego Harbor, as I said earlier, they got a lot of maritime traffic, air traffic also for the military because Coronado Naval Air Station is right across the harbor here. Uh, beautiful place, but Seaport Village, you can take it all in right here. Eat right here, watch the sunset, watch the um, Navy ships go by. So basically they asked the tuna fishermen to help out the Navy during World War II after Pearl Harbor. Look at this USS Midway Museum right here with all those aircraft on top of it. That's a museum, you can go inside there. Yeah, so if you come down here to the USS Midway Museum, you'll notice directly behind me, if you look way out there in the horizon, you can see the sailor kissing his uh, girlfriend or wife after coming home from World War II. You want to go to Coronado on the boat? Let's do it. Yeah, so here we are going across the San Diego Harbor, going to Coronado, but you can see beautiful downtown San Diego. There's the convention center, the Harbor Bridge right over here. So it takes about five to 10 minutes, costs $5 per person each way. So round trip for two people, $20. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe, turn on the bell, get notified when we make a new video, and go to the homepage. We've got lots of videos from all across America, a whole playlist, and around the world. So you might want to just check those out too. And if you like this video, crush the like button up. Thanks to all you who like the video. All right, so here we are on B Avenue in Orange. This is downtown Coronado. A lot of eateries over here. All right, so here we are across the street from the Hotel Coronado, beautiful hotel. We're gonna go there next, but first we're gonna go get some Mexican food. 
got the uh, orange juice margarita. Perfect. Here is ceviche. It's uh, raw shrimp, oyster scallops, I put, or scallops and fish. It's all raw. I absolutely love ceviche. All right, so as you can see, I'm standing in front of the Hotel Del Coronado, established, built in 1888. It was the single largest hotel in all the world when it was built. Uh, it's one of the few remaining hotels from the Victorian era here in Southern California. Uh, it was registered by the National Historic Landmarks Registry in 1977. So this here is a historic monument. What a beauty. Let's go check her out. As you can see behind me, there is a lot of white sand beach on Coronado Island. Uh, so you can go all the way up towards Point Loma, towards the Naval Air Station, or south down towards uh, Silver Strand. Lots of white sand beach up and down here, right outside of Coronado Island by the uh, Hotel Del Coronado. You know something that's really nice about uh, San Diego and this whole area down in Southern California is it's like a Mediterranean tropical, subtropical climate. So you get lots of vegetation, especially the closer you are to the beach because it doesn't freeze. So you get plants like this, these birds of paradise, bananas and all sorts of different tropicals that grow down here. You know, since we're in a beach community out here in Coronado. Let's see what they got for beach attire. Just show you some of the brands they got Salty Crew. This here is called Emerald City Surf Shop out here in Coronado. You're gonna definitely want to check this place out when you come into town if you're looking for surf gear. And uh, they actually have some local brands. This is the Emerald City beanie. So in my opinion, the central area of Coronado Island is right here on 10th and Orange. If you look around here, you can see this is where the most stores and the, all the traffic is. It's really the heart of Coronado Island right here. All right, so here we are in the Port of San Diego. This area here is where there's a couple maritime museums. You have a Russian submarine and an American submarine that you can go on. It's two different submarines from the same era, and you can just walk through them and see what, how much different a Soviet uh, submarine is from an American submarine. And then you also have the Star of India, which is another boat. 
that you can check out and do a tour of. All right, so now we're headed over from the port of San Diego over here to uh, Little Italy. And over in Little Italy, obviously, you can get gelato, great Italian food, burgers, you name it. You'll see, that's where we're going next. So this park here is actually called Waterfront Park. You can see why, but uh, got a playground, fountains right here. There's the waterfront. All right, so here we are on India Street, which is effectively the main drag for Little Italy. You can go right or left here. Uh, we're gonna go left and right, just kind of show you guys around. Let's do it. So one of the benefits that we've seen from COVID is the fact that they have a lot of outdoor dining now. But look at how close it is to the water. A little Italy here. So let's go this way and take a look at all these restaurants. So we're gonna go inside Landini's here and get a piece of pizza. Let's see how good it is. There's my flower right there. Ooh, Saucy, hot. Cash and carry Italian foods right here. Look at that. You gotta so classic. You gotta get your own uh, cash to get the Italian food. Look at. All right, so now we're gonna go to the gas lamp district. We're gonna leave Little Italy. Let's go to the gas lamp. Yeah, so here we are on Fifth Avenue and Market Street. This is like the absolute central area of uh, gas lamp. If you walk Fifth Avenue up and down, uh, this is really where you're gonna get most of the action. Fourth Avenue has a little bit of action. So some of the other side streets, but Fifth Avenue is really where it's happening at. We'll walk down here, you'll see it's got a lot of outdoor dining even right now. oyster bar right here this is six different ones uh, you can see blue pole malapake fat bastard you can see these two these two these two it goes uh, clockwise clockwise here and uh, there's a total of 12 so we're gonna just dive in and tear it up so this one here is called the blue pool I'm gonna take a little bit of the uh, horseradish here take a little lemon Really little lemon. Dominic for kick. There it is. Okay. Got her all marinated and salivating there. Damn good, man.
melts in your mouth. Mm. All right, so we're going to continue the San Diego travel guide. We're going to go over to Cabrillo Point, Point Loma. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. Next day, beautiful, sunny, uh, about 65 right now, going to be 72 today. Perfect. It's February uh, afternoon for us to go out and enjoy San Diego. Here's a look at some of the military uh, aircraft carrier, submarines, BDGs, cargo ships, salt ships, and some of the aircraft right over here. Cobra, Osprey. Yeah, so here we are at the Cabrillo Monument here. Uh, you can see this is uh, Rodriguez Cabrillo. In 1500s, they came over here from the King Charles of Spain. And uh, this is what eventually led to the establishment of California. This was long before it was a part of America. It was part of Spain and Mexico right here. And so Cabrillo was the guy who led the mission or the uh, expedition that came up here to settle what was known as Alta California. Yeah, so here we are at the Point Loma Lighthouse. Uh, this lighthouse was built in 1855 and was in operation until 1891. It's a very bright lighthouse, one of the oldest in San Diego and all of the country, on the west coast at least. But the problem is, is that it was so high up there that the fog in the marine layer would sometimes make it hard to see the actual light from a distance. But on a clear day, they could see it as far as 36 miles away, a captain reported seeing it that far. Uh, but then they lowered the lighthouse to a lower elevation and they discontinued this and now it's here at the National Park. The old cistern right there made it to the lighthouse. This is where they used to do rain catchment. Catch the rainwater right here. Yeah, so here you can get a view of the Gray Whale Superhighway right here. So right down there is the tide pools and the kelp forest. And right there is going to be lots of gray whales and all sorts of different humpback whales, pilot whales. Who knows what you can see from up here. Take a look. Actually out here is Fort Rosecrans. You can see these uh, bunkers here. In Hawaii they call them pillboxes. I guess you could call them a pillbox, but you can see they've kind of boarded them up, but the soldiers would sit in there with machine guns or some sort of artillery to protect the uh, base. So this here is Fort Rosecrans. Yeah, so this is a coastal uh, artillery station right here from 1943 to 1946. That was World War II during the uh, Pacific Campaign. They were worried about an invasion coming from Asia, uh, Japan. And you can see here's the entrance into the battery here, Battery E. Yeah, so this was actually a military housing unit right here. And you could see right here, Japanese submarines like this were sighted along the California coast, you can see right here.
All right, so here we are at Sunset Cliffs. This is a place to watch the sunset. Obviously, we're here in the afternoon, but they've got surfers down here. They've got a couple beaches that you can walk along, trails, really nice place. And it actually extends pretty much all the way down into Ocean Beach. But just take a look at how beautiful it is out here, even in the morning time, with all the surfers out there. So you guys may have seen that cave in San Diego. Uh, this one here is on the Sunset Cliffs. If you look right down here, you can kind of see it. All right, so now we are in Ocean Beach. We're gonna begin the process of looking at all these beaches. First one, Ocean Beach, we'll move on to Mission and Pacific Beach all the way up to La Jolla from there. But uh, let's take a look here at this beautiful Ocean Beach town. Yeah, so here we are at the end of Newport Avenue. We've obviously reached the beach. Right there is the pier, but it is closed right now. I don't know if it's gonna open up anytime soon, but uh, we got the pier. Lots of kelp right here on the beach here. Yeah, so here we are now at Mission Beach. We're gonna take a look around here, go grab a beer, go upstairs right over here uh, where the Wave House is. Let's check it out. So now we are here on Mission Bay. If you look over here, this big bay here, lots of sailboats, water sport activities, a lot safer than going out into the Pacific Ocean to explore. Uh, but this you can see right here, lots of vacation rentals, uh, beautiful place to just come and relax. Nice chill vibes right here. Now we're gonna go down to Pacific Beach. to the boardwalk here, but this time we're going to be arriving at Pacific Beach. You can see these kites in the sky here. Another cool thing to do out here in Pacific Beach is going riding and biking. Look at all these kites.
right here is called Bird Rock. Take a look. Alright, so now we're going up to La Jolla, so to La Jolla Cove, see some sea lions. guys we are down here now at La Jolla if you zoom in really close right over there you can see some sea lions also some really cool seabirds all along this cliff here in La Jolla Cove All right, so here we are at Shell Beach. You can see all these tide pools. We'll go down here and see what these tide pools really do look like down here in La Jolla. Yeah, so as you can see here, there's lots of seals hanging out on the rocks here. In this lagoon, you've even got a couple swimming. But lots of them just babies, moms, lots of seals out here on these rocks enjoying the uh, beautiful, sunny San Diego afternoon. So now we're headed over to Torrey Pines State Park Reserve. You can kind of see it way off in the background here. All right, so here we are at Torrey Pines State Beach and uh, we're gonna go up this hill here. We go down here, this is Black Beach. It's a nude beach, actually. We're not gonna go down there right now, but we are gonna go to the Torrey Pines State Preserve and hike around a little bit. Yeah, so after about a 20 minute walk up this road here, we finally arrived at the Perry Grove Trail. Let's go check out this trail up here at the top of Torrey Pines. Yeah, so as you can see, Torrey Pines was called Camp Kalan, and uh, you can see these soldiers here were training, basic training, uh, going over here, learning how to do uh, lots of different things out in the Torrey Pines wilderness here. Yeah, so when you come to the Balboa Park, you'll notice the San Diego Zoo is here, one of the best zoos in all of the country, but check it out. Yeah, and another place you can come to when you go to Balboa Park here is the Spanish Village, a really nice art area.
Yeah, and another really popular place to come is out here in Balboa Park. You can see lots of museums, the visitor center, and right behind me, this museum here that looks like a church is actually called the Museum of Natural Science. All right, so here we are in Old Town. This is actually considered the birthplace of California, believe it or not. So let's go take a look at Old Town San Diego. So Old Town is a historic area, obviously. They do have a Mormon battalion museum up there at the top of the hill. You also have Fiesta de Reyes, which is a bunch of shops that are open during the daytime where you go in and uh, they have gem shops, antiques, artifacts, a lot of history in this little area called Fiesta de Reyes. All right, so here we are at Casa de Reyes in Old Town, finishing up our San Diego trip, headed up to Ocean Beach, Oceanside, I should say. So uh, stick around for that episode. And uh, yeah, that's gonna conclude San Diego as I eat my fajitas here at Casa Reyes.